Royals to, as you can tell by the title, another Christmas haul. Today, you guys, it's literally, um, well, it's midnight, so it's not Christmas. It's the day after Christmas or the midnight after Christmas, or however you want to say it, but my love works the night shift, and so he left to go to work, and I figured I'm still up. I'm still cute. I still got a little juice in me, so girl, just turn the camera on and record and show the people what you got. So that's what we're going to do, but I want you guys, um, to grab yourself a bubbly if you're still up with me um or still up well y'all ain't gonna see this at this time of night anywho girl just get yourself something nice and relaxing to drink and enjoy everything that i have um picked up and i'm going to share with you guys you're going to love it of course but i want to just um take a moment and just thank you all so so much for the love and the support that you have shown me for the christmas 22 season and beyond. You guys have been such a supportive family and I love you all so, so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you for every like, every comment, every thumbs up, and every share. And feel free to do the same on this video as well. But I want to just get that out the way, you guys. Christmas 22 was a hectic season, you guys. I had everything from double booking, well, I won't say double booking, just jam-packed booking from my hair business to the event planning business to the holiday styling business. There was a day for everything so there wasn't a lot of uh, free time to do a recording so I had to do like mass recordings and sometimes it went well and sometimes it didn't go so well but you guys were patient with me I would have loved to upload it more than I did but at any rate I did what I could got through it Christmas 22 is um it's over and done however I hope you all had a wonderful wonderful time surrounded by family and loved ones I hope if you are dealing with the agony or the distress or pain of the absence of a loved one, I pray that you found comfort in some way. And, and if nothing else, then the reason for this season. We know that Jesus is the reason for this season. And I personally celebrate him 365, seven days a week. But you guys know how I feel about Christmas. I go big for Jesus, okay? So anytime I can take it up a notch and celebrate my Lord and Savior, I'm going to do just that. So every holiday season will be the way we do it in the royal household. So thank you guys just again for just um, being patient with me through the breaking of the camera to the waiting for the shipment of the camera of the shipment of a new phone just the whole nine you guys have been rocking and rolling some of you reached out hey t i hadn't seen the video is everything okay so i appreciate you guys just for having little old me on your mind so that just means the world to me and it keeps me motivated and it keeps me encouraged to just get up turn the camera on even when i don't feel like it sometimes because it ain't always peaches and cream over here in the royal household things get hectic and life starts lifing but you have to keep pushing and so in that your girl is pushing so i got a good face i got a, like i said got a little juice a little energy still in me so we're going to get the shopping haul right on the road let me take a sip of my bubbly of my repel aka ginger ale if you are a tv girl where did that term ripple come from i know some of my royals know because y'all my kind of people but anywho guys i've got items from amazon Hobby Lobby, um, David Christopher, a local floor shop called Tipton and Hearst, another local shop called um, The Christmas Warehouse. I took you guys out there. Got an amazing, amazing, amazing deal out there. I cannot wait to share that with you guys, but I'm going to just dive right in. And first things first, you guys, this is, if you are following me on my other social media platforms, you've already seen this ensemble. And my love and I took some cute little Christmas pics because what's... What's better than coupling if you can't couple in matching pajamas, right? So I have finally convinced him. Last year was our first year to do matching pajamas. And so this year I kind of wanted to spice it up a little bit. And so I went with these like, um, they say blue green, but it kind of gives me teal vibes or what have you. So uh, it is a tealish green color, kind of in reminiscent of some of the hues are, that are in my decor. And we did a cute little um, photo shoot for the holiday season and it went over quite well but i got tons of questions number one where did you get the matching pajamas from number two what type of hair is that or your hair is gorgeous and number three the lips you guys are always on these lips honey so i'm gonna give you the tea because i got a good deal with the lips so i'm gonna share that with you all today and i'm gonna share with you number one the um start kicking off the amazon of it all y'all got some fuzz or something on my lip i'm sorry so if i keep doing that that's what i'm trying to get off but anywho 
the uh, matching pajamas are from Amazon, AKA Amazon, and I will have them linked, okay? And some of you have mentioned that when I say I have my Amazon store linked, you can't always find what I'm talking about, so I will link them individually. So I will have this individually linked. And if this is a, it's a couple's set, but I think they're, I don't know, I thought they were men's pajamas, but anywho, it didn't matter to me, I just wanted this to be a little fancy. So um, I got an XL, I think, and my love got a 3XL. So I will link those in the description box. The hair uh, you can also get on Amazon. It is um, crochet hair and it is the Remedy Wand Curl by Free Trust. I will have that link. And right now, you guys, this is working on week number 10, 12 or somewhere like that. I'm, I'm pushing it because it's typically an eight week due. But like I said, the way my schedule has been, your girl is pushing it to the limit. And honestly, when it kind of gets like this, when it gets old and looks more natural or organic to me, it's when I like it, but that means it's time for it to come out because the new growth is turning into mega growth, but that's a whole nother story. So, in addition to the hair, you guys, the lips also can be purchased from Amazon. You guys, I am a lover and lover of matte lipsticks, and one of my favorite go-to brands is NYX or NYX. And I just happened to be looking on there one night for a particular lip color that I had. I don't know if I broke it or... I matched the top. I don't know. Anyway, I needed another one of them. And it was the shade Shocking Pink, which is what is my inter, inner lip is um, done in. It's the NYX, and it is the matte. This, these are all matte lipsticks. So I will have them linked. And this one is the Shocking Pink. And I have it combined or ombre with NYX Aria. Now, typically, I do this combination of the Shocking Pink with my... Um, matte because I love the matte lipsticks as well because I like any type of matte lipstick. So um, this is the Aria That's the outer which is like a darker purple a purpley pink color And then this is the shocking pink and I simply Outline the outer of the lips with the darker and then do this like literally in the center and Do a little pucker and your girl is ready to roll and I do so many different lip combinations But this is one of my favorites. I think it has kind of goes with a lot of um, Clothing that I wear or whatever so that is that you guys i got a great deal on these like i said i was looking for the shocking pink and different sellers because not all these came from the same seller were having mega sales on the nyx lip color some of these were $1.99 some of them were $3.99 i think the most i paid for any two was like $4.99 and that was still 50 percent off from what nyx normally costs like in the in walmart or like for me at my little um hair store I can get it for like nine dollars a tube so to me anything under that was a good deal but to get something at 199 you guys I was not passing it up so I'll share with you some of the shades that I got because I literally got about 15 shades and of course they're coming from different vendors so every day there's like a little packet of lipstick coming I was like why didn't they just send it all at one time I'm like then that's when I realized they came from different sellers but anywho that's a different story so this is called craze and it's like a orangey brown i like that perfect for fall and you can mix this with something in the winter time too and make it really cute i got so i'm not gonna share all because you guys i literally got like 15 shades this is called pure red absolutely fabulous it's giving me that ruby woo because ruby woo is like my favorite 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 all-time lipstick by mac and this is giving me that ruby woo vibe so i'm gonna test it i haven't worn that one yet i'm gonna test it out and see how it wears in comparison to the ruby woo this one is called sable I have worn this as a nice um, neutral. I've coupled this with, um, I have another one that's in my collection already and it's a chocolate color. So I'll couple that and give me like a nice one. I wanna do a nude matte lip, really, really cute. Um, I showed you guys Shocking Pink and Aria. And let's see, what is this one? Alabama, I thought that was like fun name, but I like the deep burgundy red of it i like that so i can couple that even with the um with the pure red and kind of get a nice little brick tone of ombre red going and this one is called some of these i had never worn but because of the price i was like this is a good time to try it this one is called up the base so it is like a it's in the purple family as well so i like that so that's what i got you guys so if you're most of the time 90 percent of the time i'm going to be wearing an nyx or a mac lip color i have a few um chanel lipsticks that i like but they really for what they for what they cost nyx and mac give me just gives me just the same satisfaction but anywho that is that from is that all from, oh one more thing from from amazon you guys i picked this up um I wanted to just test the seller just to see 
um, what the quality of the product was because again, you guys know I do a lot of holiday styling. I picked up some new clients for the 23 year and a post and also my clients that I've had from previous years, we're gonna add some things, switch some things up and all that good stuff. So I kinda of wanted to find as many sources as I could for um, ornaments. And so this particular seller was on Amazon because I'm wanting to get them into the, you know, larger size um, ornament family. Like, like, I say, like I say, four inches or more. It's really when you, especially when you have like the fuller trees and you wanna have a nice designer look, the bigger the ornament you can get, the better. And I know that they can be pricey, so I wanted to find some good alternatives for them because honestly, I know that the at-home store has carry larger ornaments and different like local chain stores now carry them, but sometimes the quality is not there in comparison to your designer type of ornament. So I wanted to find something that was on that level of quality, but kind of middle ways price point wise. And so this was a set from the Vickerman line and I had seen this in some of my designer stores, so I knew that it was a good brand, but I wanted to make sure it was the brand. You know, sometimes you have some bootleggers, so I wanted to make sure that it was what it was. And this is one pack that I haven't opened, but I purchased two packs of them, and it was four in a pack for $28. For a six inch ornament, that's pretty much like six to $7 an ornament, that's a good buy. So, although it wasn't like 50% off, or that's an average purchase. Some places you can, you will pay $15, $20 for a six inch ornament, because these are six inch ornaments if I did not say that. So I just wanted to test it out. Now I will say that different colors vary in price so it just depends on the color you're looking for but i will have these linked if you're wanting to add more to your collection or create a new look or what have you i will add them to my amazon store okay and these are of course you guys know these are in my teal colors so i figured if i get this and it does it's not good quality i can keep them and work them in my collection but i didn't want to buy them for a client and it wasn't what I, you know, thought they were. So they're good quality, so I'm gonna recommend them to my clients. I'm gonna recommend them to you as well. So I will link those in my description box, okay? Um, Next, we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby. Well, no, let's just do these right here since I have them right in front of me. These are all from Home Goods, And I got these from Home Goods and the, um, and my girl Sharita's um, Nick of the Woods. I was in there, in that area doing some holiday styling and I stopped at the um home goods there didn't find anything decor wise surprising because they normally have really good stuff there but i did find some gift wrap paper that are going to go well with my collections first up was this cute little cupcake um um, well, um gift wrap paper that i thought would be really really cute with my sugar and spice because that's going to be a staple guys you know that's dedicated to the nieces and sisters and aunties or whatever because it's, it keeps growing now all the ladies now want to be added it started out with just the nieces and the daughters then the sisters wanted to be added so now my aunties want to be added so it's gonna it's evolving so i've got to add some more to that look so this was three or 4.99 from home goods so that's that okay i also picked up this beautiful um paper it is giving me all of the iridescent gold. You see how it's picking up that beautiful iridescent back there? I love this paper. And I wish they had more than one. It was also $4.99 and it's a 30 by 10 inch roll. But you guys know I'll do my um my little dummy roll. So this will be packages that I use for staging. So it's not like I'll be getting rid of these. So love that. And again, I wish they had more than one. I got a classic gold. And it is $3.99 and it was also 30 by 10. Super cute, super fun. And this one I got not to be used for gift wrap at all, but it is a golden white with a bumblebee um, motif throughout. And if you know, last summer I did the um, queen bee kitchen theme and I love to build on looks. If it's something that I love, I just kind of want to add to it and vamp it up season after season if I choose to bring that back. And I'm going to be bringing that back more than likely. So I got this for... Um, $3.99. Hey, back. All right, guys. So up next is Hobby Lobby. You guys, Hobby Lobby was up to 70% off um, when I purchased these items. Um, maybe last week, week before last, I'm not sure. I just periodically um, stop in there and there was really not a whole lot that I needed, but um, you always want to see something that you want. So the different than needed one, but I picked up these because I was surprised. It had to be someone returning these because they were completely sold out during the time when I was looking for them for clients. But it is these cute little um, silver beaded um, floor picks. They only had eight. Of course, I bought all eight of them and they were, like I said, 70% off. So I got them for like 90 cents. 
so I thought that was a really cute, um, really a really great option. So again, I got a whole bag of those. I don't want to take them out because you know how the glitter is, and I'm really at this point over the glitter, so I'm ready to clean up. Literally, once I get done with this shopping haul, there may or may not be one or two more because I've ordered some things that haven't come in, but you may see that during this after Christmas shopping haul segment or going into the new year, I don't know, but your girl has got some things on the horizon I cannot wait to share with you all. So I've got to get some, I got to move and shake. So this is like literally my last um, wind down day because I'm hitting the ball rolling. Actually in a few hours, I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do, girl. I'm gonna um, wash the makeup off my face, get showered and lay out my clothes because come 6 a.m., I'm going to be up at somebody's store, mainly Silks of Bloom. That's my first stop. And then I'm gonna go by, um, the at-home store, because I did it online, the best thing the at-home store could have ever done for me was do an um, pickup order. So I ordered some things online. I'm going to pick them up since I'm going to be on that side of town. And then I'm coming on back to the house, and your girl has to start packing and rolling, baby. We got we got things to do. We got things to do. So next thing I got from, well, the first thing I got from, well, next thing from Hobby Lobby were these picks, you guys. I know a lot of people use them for, like, their rustic. Christmas looks and all of that, the farmhouse looks. I like to get these types of picks for my winter styling because this gives me wintry vibes. It's not necessarily Christmassy. There's no red or greens or anything like that. It's just like a nice icy type of um, pine with the cute little pine cones in there. I absolutely love it. They look so realistic. And I think I picked up six of these and they were $12.99 at 70% off. So yeah, I got six of those. So I just like, and I have a lot of the wintery picks and I just like to build on that collection. So I got those, okay. I got these, also keeping in with that whole wintery look. You guys, I'm trying to be careful how I position this paper because this little frosted stuff is falling out of the bottom and I'm really not trying to have that everywhere. But how cute are these? They are some wintery picks and I like the little wood sticks that are in there. So I'm going to create some nice little wintery topiaries for my outdoor styling for the winter season. So I got four of these and they were $14.99 at 70% off, but it's nice and full. So I've got four of those. Okay. And the last thing I got from Hobby Lobby, again, I was strategic in what I wanted. I didn't make a big fuss about it. They had, they were like some little, little artificial, um, Block trees, the little miniature trees. I thought about getting some of those. I, if they have some, when I go back, when it goes down to 80, 90, I might pick them up. If they don't, I ain't gonna break in you. I'm not gonna be heartbroken about it. But I picked up these babies because I am working on a new, well, I'm not working on a new look, just adding something to, you already know that I already got my 2023 things ready to roll, baby. So I know what I'm going for and I know I needed to add a few more things to enhance that look a little bit and so i picked up these beautiful they're like a white iridescent um look here are you feeling the vibe are you feeling look at that it's the iridescence for me sis so i got um seven boxes of these they were 14.99 at 70 percent off and so i got all of the ones so they were a difference in the color some of them was like a white white and then some of them was a paralyzed with the iridescent so i made sure i got all the ones that had that iridescent um, glow to them. So I picked up again seven of these I believe and I'm not going to hang them individually You got to see come back and see for the 23 2023 themes to see what I do with them But yeah, your girl is preparing. She's preparing for 23. Okay, so I got those right and then um, The next stop I'm going to just go right here since it's right in front of me is a store called Tipton in Hurst. I don't know if you all have one in your local area, but we have like I think three, we have one in my, close to my side and West Little Rock side, and then we have one in the Conway. So it's like three different locations. I'm not sure if they're anywhere else, but they are really, really nice floral shop. Yearly, they do like wedding to, um, florals, just any type of florals or whatever, but during the holiday season, they bring it, okay? And sometimes that can be a little costly, but they, they carry items that are like second to none. You're not gonna find their type of decor everywhere. It's like really a staple designer store. So I picked up how gorgeous are you seeing a new theme? Yes, you are. I have never displayed, I've never purchased anything, Bergen. I was telling one of my clients that I just about had every color and the on the rainbow as far as holiday decor, but I didn't have any burgundy. I was never a girl that got into the burgundy of it all or the Merlot or the cranberry, whatever color you want to call this. But it was something about it that kind of caught my eye this year. 
And so, well, actually like last year, but I just didn't get anything. So I wanted to just build on it in the event that I ever want to do it. I may do it in 23, I don't know, but I got these beautiful glass. They are glass spinners. They were $17.99, you guys. And this, the one that's closest to me is actually a surplus or a um, closeout store. So I got these beauties for $3. I could not believe it. So I was only able to get two or three of the finial size, I believe. And they wrapped them really well. Let's see if this is a finial. Yeah, this is a, this, a, this looks like a different shape. I don't know, let's see. Yeah, it's a different shape one. So really, really pretty, you guys. I love that color, that granite, or I'm not granite, garnet, cranberry, burgundy, you know, maroon, whatever you want to call it. But it was speaking to me, see, so I got those. And then also they had these, and I got a really good deal on these because some of them didn't have, some of them did not have the hooks, but he sold them to me for literally like 75 cents and 50 cents, they're like a velvet ornament, so, so pretty. Of course, I can add my own stem on there and I'm gonna embellish it and give it a nice little royal makeover. So super cute there, 75 cents, and this is a, looks like a four, it's a four inch, four, maybe five inch ornament. Super cute in that, like again, they wrap them very, very well. So I'm gonna store them exactly how they wrapped them. And then I think there's two different sizes in here of this velvet one, so I got a lot of these. So yeah, I think this is slightly smaller, and it is. So I got, I think maybe like four of one and three of the other, but absolutely gorgeous. Again, 75 cents, 50 cents, so I was not leaving them in the store. Love those. So that is pulling into that cranberry, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so there's seven. So there's three of one size and four of the other size. And that everything I got there was that cranberry color because again, I wanted to find something that really spoke to me and I really, really like that deep, rich cranberry color. So I got those. And now you guys, for the final stop of this haul, it is the deal, the deal, the deal, honey. Oh, no, I was so, oh, I'm trying not to knock the Thing. I was so excited about this deal, this particular um, deal that I caught and I could not wait to share with you guys. As you can see, I have not one, but two totes full of, let me pull back. I have two totes, you guys, full of beautiful items from the Christmas warehouse. Now this was the last week. Um, they are only open for a holiday, like, so from October, maybe like last week of October, 1st of November, and they close out like the first week of December. So this was literally, um, about three weeks ago when I got this, but I just, I could not, could not wait to share it. So I was in there and I knew it was the last week and I remember last year I caught them on their last week and I was able to get some things at 50% off and then they told me that they, it goes, he keeps um liquidate everything down because he doesn't want to have anything in the warehouse he likes to start fresh every year which i love so you get a new thing year after year and i was in there and they said and i was looking when we got when we pulled up first of all people were coming out of the store with like bags and bags and bags and i saw husbands carrying bags kids carrying bags grandmas i said they gotta be having a mega sale when you see that many people especially husbands coming out with smiles on their faces with a lot of bags in their hand oh baby it's got to be a sale of a sale so lo and behold they said everything in the store, every item in the store was $2, guys. No matter how big it was, no matter what it was, everything was $2. And they and then I was in there and kind of literally had, I had my niece with me and we had literally like three baskets, no exaggeration. So we're trying to haul around these three baskets. And she says, well, if you stay around a little longer, he's gonna drop it to a dollar, but I had to go. That's the weekend that I went to do that um, last holiday styling in the Memphis area. So I had to get, had to be there by a certain time. Otherwise I would have stuck around and got it all for a dollar, but I was so happy, honey. I didn't mind at all. So first thing I got was, this was not for me, this is for a client. These cute little um, gingerbread picks. So cute, so fun. $2 original price on these were $5.99. And so I got them for $2. And so I have a client that we're transitioning her from the um, candy theme to a peppermint and gingerbread thing. So we're just building on her look over time. So I just picked up three of these for her, all right? And so to keep in with that whole wintry vibe of it all, I picked up these, you guys, $2 from the um, Christmas warehouse. And I only got two, I should have gotten four, but I was thinking about, you know, the two urns that I have 
but I was I should have made, gotten a third one to make to put on a little swag or whatever, but it's gonna work just fine. So how you see what I'm going where I'm going with this? It's so cute, so fun. Along with these picks from the Dollar Tree. That is a whole, whole wintery situation right there. So I can't wait to get that styled up for you guys. So I got two of these. All right. Ananda, my niece is here, guys. So I'm going to call her up because this is about to be a whole plethora of stuff all over the place. Because you guys, these two totes are jam-packed with items. Everything in this tote, in these totes, are two dollars. So as I pass them, I want to give them to you so I don't make a big mess here. Okay. okay. So next thing I got, you guys, are these beautiful. Um, what do they call them? Mezzo. Mezzo. I said Mezzo. What's the name of the sticks? I we use them in event planning, but they're like the mezzanite trees or some type of trees. But these are the branches to that, and I'll put it on the screen. They were originally five ninety nine. They were two dollars, and I think I got. 10 of these I went in because I knew again a look that I'm getting that I'm building on so I got those and I hate to take because we haven't packed so neatly but in order to show y'all I gotta take them out so that's where my handy dandy assistant Ananda comes in so this is how many of them I got you guys again I can one two three four five six seven eight nine. I got nine of those two dollars okay beautiful beautiful picks right okay Again, I told you that Merlot, that cranberry color was calling my name. And when I saw these babies, I just lost it. How gorgeous are these beautiful um, poinsettias in that beautiful burgundy Merlot color. Let me see if I can pull something to give you all the Dijon. So now if I find me some pretty ribbon, the Merlot, honey, look, oh, how perfect. And I hadn't even put them together to see if they match. I just felt like they did. But how gorgeous, you guys absolutely gorgeous so i got that and i think i got about um maybe 10 of these i went in with these because again they were only two dollars originally 4.99 two bucks but how pretty is that and it has like a gold champagne um trimming to them so it, it could be styled beautifully with the gold if you wanted a more bolder like a jewel tone look or if you wanted a subtle sophisticated look with the champagne it would work easily with that as well and so in addition to the picks guys i also got these leaves that coordinated with i thought i had one of these open but maybe i covered them back up but look at how gorgeous y'all this you can create some pretty swags and just nestle them in the tree honey yes ma'am so i don't even know what to call this look but how gorgeous is that Yes, ma'am. Two bucks. And so I got, I don't even know how many of these. I don't even know. Let me see. I, I know about everything in odd numbers. So I either got seven or nine. That was kind of my whole vibe for that, for the day. I was picking up five or, I mean, seven or nine of everything if they had it. So I got those. I'm just going to drop. I'm not, you know, I may not even have to pick up everything out of here. So I may not even have to trouble you, Ananda. Ananda, I got these beauties in this beautiful mocha color. They are some poinsettias as well. But how gorgeous would that be with like a champagne, with chocolates? And I have some some decor in my um, collection already that I think would be beautiful with this. I absolutely love it. But I have another look in my head, and I'll show you some pieces that I got. But how pretty are those? So I think I got now for these. I got let's see, maybe 10 of them, nine or 10 of them, because there's a lot of them in here. So I got those, $2. These beauties, I told y'all I went in, honey, I went in, I went in. And as a matter of fact, as this tree is rotating, you may even see one of these in the tree because I was just so excited about them that I put it in there to see how it would look for 23, but a magnolia, really, really, really pretty. These leaves are so thick. So it's not like a cheaply made, cheaply made, um, magnolia because some of them you know not all things are created equal but I love the fact that it's a very very thick material very pliable has the wiring um, adhered to the leaf and so it's not just stuck on there so it's not gonna pop off but I absolutely love that got about nine or ten of those as well um, what other colors I got some in the pretty rose gold because I do have a rose gold collection and whenever I want to pull the rose gold out I can just add this to it I actually have a New Year's thing on the brain, but I don't know if that's gonna happen because your girl got a lot going on behind the scene. 
but I like those. I got, um, and how pretty would that be with the gold? Well, no, that's too gold. I want to do it like a softer gold with the rose gold. But I got about equal amounts of that, okay? When I tell you this tote is full, oh, let me show y'all these. Oh, I got also the picks. I may need to pull them out so I can really, really show y'all everything and not forget. I also picked up the rose gold um, picks to go, like how I did the, Mer the burgundy collection. I got the rose gold, um, what are these? Magnolias, and I also got some of the fern picks um, to go along with. So for however many of the magnolias I got, I got a stem to go along with that. Again, they were $2, you guys, so why not? Okay, I also picked, oh, I need to get this for my daughter. She wants to be silver and gold, and I was just, honey, I was going in, you hear me? So some of these were silver, some of them were gold, and some of them were silver and gold, and I just noticed that some of these were silver and gold, but I love these. What I like about them is like that little crystal-like beading on there. So, so pretty, you guys. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but y'all going to rock with me, right? So, that is just absolutely gorgeous. Can be styled with champagne, can be styled with silver, can be styled with gold. That's why I love getting picks like this because whatever direction you want to go in as far as your metallic, if you get a good amount of your neutral pieces, it gives you the flexibility to kind of play around with your accent colors. So, that is just so pretty, okay? So I got tons of these. So I'll go through and I may give her the silver and gold ones because I got some that are solid silver like these. Then I got some that are solid gold. Let me show you guys the difference so you see what I'm talking about. And then I see some solid gold ones in here. Or do I see solid gold? No, I just see silver and I see the silver and gold, or champagnes. That's, more, that's what it's giving me. It's a champ, more of a champagne and then these are more of a true silver. So, I don't know if you can see the difference. But that's the silver, and then this is the champagne, which will tie in really pretty with her, but she's doing silver and gold next year. So, what else? Oh, I got these. Y'all, I'm just digging down in here like, okay, let's see. I want to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all all of this, but I don't pack it down so well. I got it in the emerald green, those same little picks. Again, everything was $2, guys, but I just love this pick. Again, it's a great filler. For your garlands, your fireplaces, your centerpieces on your tables or in your tree, wherever you want to put it, it is absolutely gorgeous. So I got, like I said, nine about nine or ten of them in the green, nine or ten of them in the silver, nine or ten of them in the um, rose gold, and then I found these beauties. But I don't know if these are going to be necessarily used for Christmas if I'm going to pull out a hole. Because you guys know that I do that Tennessee whiskey look, and I got tons of questions last fall about a fall tree. And I believe it or not, I had things picked for it, but I just didn't, I just didn't feel to do the fall tree for whatever reason last year. But she might be coming back um, this year. But look at these, how cute are they? And that um, whiskey color. So that may be, there may be a fall tree on the horizon, okay? Let's see what else I got down here that I haven't shared with y'all in this tote. Also, I have, the, I have ribbon in here, you guys. They, when I tell you the deal was, you just, you just can pass it up. This beautiful four inch ribbon. These are, this is a five yard, four, four inch by five yard pack, two dollars, you guys. Can not pass it up, can pass it up. You can hand me those back, baby. I can put them back in here. And then I got this gorgeous, I got three of those. No, I got four of the black and white. Honey, I was, your girl was shopping, you hear me? So then I got these red and black, and these are four inch by five as well. You guys know that I do a razorback tree, or um, that's one of my things that I'm thinking of bringing back. So I got those. I can put those back in here. I didn't think I was going to. I think I, I showed y'all everything in here. If not, honey, you're going to see it on a tree, on a, <laughs> on a video near you. Okay, that back. And so then we're going to swap out the totes. And you take this tote and give me that, honey. This next tote, baby. The girl was like a kid in a candy store. So I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to slide this over. Thank God for behind the scenes. <laughs> Help. Okay, then you hand me that. Smooth transition, just like that. Okay, so, you guys, I am thinking of doing, for June, doing a Juneteenth look, but not the typical Juneteenth look, if that makes sense. And so when I was in the store, I saw these, and I just was like, yes, God. So, I found, I purchased, I literally, a whole bag full, you guys, of this beautiful African themed jewelry. Beautiful necklaces, okay? How gorgeous is that? Two bucks. 
They were all different kinds. And immediately what came to my mind was creating a like a safari type of um, garland. So I am just loving these. I picked up so many different kinds. And I was on the fence about, do I give these out as Christmas gifts to my clients or do I keep them? So as you see, it's after Christmas and I still got them. So I think the clients got gifts, but they didn't give it. So um, I got cute little bracelets, you guys. Just really, really nice. Um, and the Af all of the different African prints. So I'm thinking of doing like a safari Juneteenth look. I don't know. But I love these. If not, I could just do like a nice safari. This would be pretty on the um, Tennessee whiskey. You can just do pretty much whatever you want, honey. Whatever you like. Whatever you like in your home, you can do. So I just got literally tons of just different African print bracelets because I thought how cute would that be to have it as ornaments in the tree. So I got necklaces, I got earrings, just anything which I love. And I probably can rock some of these and work. How cute is that? It's, I think this is, is that, the, is that the Jaguar pattern? The cheetah, I love that, but so, so cute. So honey, you mess around and see some of these on me while I'm doing the video, mind your business, okay? I can put them on a tree and on me. But anywho, that is what I got for, for that particular inspirational look. But if there's not 30 pieces in here, there's not none. I mean, this bag is it's, it's quite heavy and it's full. I had full of them, that's jewelry. So, but again, $2 and I thought that was just so, so pretty and such a good deal. So now guys, I picked up more ornaments. And what y'all gonna do when I show you, Okay, so I got these. These are six inch ornaments, $2, originally six bucks, $2. So I got in this, um, this shiny silver, and I got, um, I think I got seven of each, seven in the matte and seven in the shiny of these six inch ornaments. So, so cute, okay? Now what I went in on, you guys, is this new theme that I'm bringing or adding to my collection and i have you see some of them in the tree like the iridescent i'm just that I, i'm just feeling it so they had these beauties really cute finial shape um ornaments that had two different shapes two dollars right so i got like 20 of these and about the same amount of these but how what i love about the iridescent look is that it's pretty regardless it it, it coordinates or complements any color that you style it with, as you see it in my tree. Here it's pretty with the teals and the mint greens. It will be gorgeous with a beautiful pink, with the lavender, it will be gorgeous with the lavender, with the baby blue. So whatever color you place with this, a deep purple, it will just be absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous with the emerald green. I put it in my tree with the emerald green when I did the Emerald City. It was pretty, and so that's kind of what sparked my love for it. And over time, I've just been building on it. And so I know that next year, we're going full throttle with it. So I got, like I said, 20 and 20 of each. Let me see. I think I got more of the skinnier ones, the longer ones than the round ones, I think. Yeah, I only got nine of the, of the round ones and three, six, nine, 12, 16. So I got like 21 of these and then nine of these. So two dollars, you guys. You cannot, cannot, cannot beat it. So I am so excited about everything that I have. Like I said, there are going to be maybe one or two more shopping hauls coming. But again, it's just adding to looks that I already have. This is the time to strategize and get your things together for your next holiday season. Even if you see items that are not necessarily for a season, but if you feel like you can be, that can be styled in a season, like for instance, Valentine's is coming up. So if you see Christmas items in red that are clearance out, candles, placemats, napkins, napkin rings, you can use those things for Valentine's or if that's your color, you know, if that's, if that's your, like your signature color. So it don't necessarily have to be used for Christmas because it is sold as Christmas decor. You can use it whenever you want. Like I'm using the wintry picks, let me put this in there. I'm using the wintry picks for, the, uh, like, you know, like the, the rustic Christmas picks, I'm using them for the winter season. So you, again, it's your home. You can do whatever you like. We're doing, we're doing our own thing in 23, just whatever's comfortable and give you a cozy 
um, warm vibe in your home, that's what you're free to do. So your girl is working on a 2023 Christmas theme and I'm excited about it. As you can see, it's gonna be all type of fabulosity going on. We're gonna, I'm working on things for the fall and I'm using Christmas decor. I'm working on things for the summer and I'm using Christmas decor. So let your imagination run wild, you guys. So that is it, that is all for this after Christmas shopping haul, but there was more. So set those notification bells, click them twice so that you always know when I upload new content, guys. This new content, what I'm about to bring to y'all is so excited. When I tell you that God has blessed us beyond measure, and I cannot wait to share with you how he's blessed and how he's given us literally double for our trouble. And I'm going to take you guys along on all of the royal shenanigans of it all. So set the notification bells, click them twice so you don't miss those uploads. Join me on other social media platforms because sometimes I can share a little bit of sneak peek there that I don't always get to bring to YouTube because it's quicker and easier to upload. You know the drill. So Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Royalty Designs with Trevina. Some of you have even connected to my personal page, Trevina Hudson or Trevina Martin Hudson, which I welcome that too. So y'all just come on over, hit your girl up, send me emails, whatever, however you want to holler at your girl, holler at your girl. But until the next video, I want you all to stay safe, remain royal, and have yourselves a blessed and most beautiful, beautiful day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Go get your stuff, girl. Go get your stuff.